good morning YouTube. Um, I'm gonna put this under woodworking with Zan, but we're not gonna be doing much with wood. Um, maybe I need a house projects uh, playlist, but we're gonna be making a uh, screen. Um, we have a piece of glass over here. Oh yeah, welcome to the basement of Doom. I've been collecting lumber from the from the house and stuff. Uh, we have a piece of glass here that goes in our screen or our storm door. And I want to put a piece of screen in there. So I bought a built build a screen kit. And we get a build screen. Easy. Um, so found the thickness I needed, found what size I needed, bought a screening kit, and went, let's let's try it ourselves. Um, so what do we gotta do? We gotta measure and cut the frame to size. Okay, so measure the opening where the screen will be placed, subtracting one and a half inches from the width. Allowing for corner keys, which are these. These are corner keys. Subtracting an inch and a half. So each of these has to be three quarters. I mean, that's what I would assume. Yeah, just about. Okay, so because these go on each end of it, we're going to subtract this distance from each one. So let's... Uh, Let's go take a look at our screen. We've got 25 and 5 eighths, 25 and 5 eighths, and 41 and a quarter. Let's say 25. Yeah. So 25 and 5 eighths. Eights and forty one and a quarter. It's so twenty four and an eighth, right? Yep, twenty four and one eighth inch, and I thought it was twenty one and a quarter. I wrote half quarter. So thirty nine and three quarter inch. If you take an inch and a half off each, right? Inch, uh, yeah. So Booyah. So all you gotta do is measure these out now, I guess. And I bought a 48 by 48 kit because I needed 41. The other kit was 36 by 36, so I still would have made it even with the quarter or the, with the inch and a half. I just want to see how these slide in. Okay, that's not bad. That'll work in there. I think this already has a backing rod in it. It does. Okay, we'll figure out how that works. So let's do the 39 and three quarter first because if I mess that cut up, I can cut it shorter to the other one. So we're gonna take our thing. Stop doing this and then stack the top of each other. square and it's gonna be tough to see this for me and you guys um, I don't know what else I could use like a paint marker or something that should do it I can see just enough like with the shine of the light above so I've got this little tiny hacksaw I'm just gonna put her in there I feel like this is more of a, a wood blade, sadly. I don't know if this this blade even goes with this miter saw. 
I don't know where I got any of this. I think this is for a different saw. Um, hmm. There was another miter saw and saw around here somewhere. No, 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 no. I know I have a much bigger hacksaw somewhere too. We're back making a screen in the basement. Um, had to go out and buy a miter because I cannot find mine in a miter box. So I started cutting this just to make sure because I was like, will it work? I'm like, it's a miter box, it'll work. So we just got to cut these four frames to length. Okay, we got all four pieces cut. Now we gotta assemble. Okay, four corners, very simple. One, this actually is gonna be so fast. The only problem is any leftover from the cutting might cause some problems, but it should be okay. Heather's working on a woodworking project behind me too. Should be fun. Refinishing some furniture, ripping it all apart. We're gonna refinish it into a color she likes. Oh, got my shirt. Frame, frame made, let's check. <laughs> Same size. Need to work, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we've got the screen frame assembled. We have screen, yay. And it looks like there's already a spline in here. I don't know. So we're gonna lay down the uh, screen like we're supposed to. 
I'm not going to trim anything until it's it's in there, basically. And then I'm going to try something, and we're going to see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we're going to take this and just kind of... Okay, that's not working. Let's see. try to see if I can force the screen into whatever this spline-looking thing is. It's not holding anything. Okay, just because it looks like there's a spline. Maybe that's the other half of it. So it's a create friction. I don't know. But bought a kit for this that came with everything we needed. Pretty cheap. We're supposed to use the con cave side of this. Let's see if this works. Start in a corner. And then just force it in there, I guess. Like Okay, that'll do it. Just pushes in. Interesting. No, no, it's popping right back out. So there's already. Okay, so look at see. There's already this rubbery stuff in there. But the kit says to just, don't breathe for your nose. We're just wondering if it comes out. It doesn't say to take it out though. It's, where are my instructions? Over here, right? But this, place spline in the top corner frame and roll into place the screen thing. Oh, it's it. Hmm. It says this kit was supposed to come with spline. I'm assuming the spline's what's already in there. Right? Like, doesn't, like, that's, here. Let me see that. Let me see that. It's a box. Was that round? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. The little frame wasn't part of the kit. No, that, this from the frame kit. Yeah, this is the spline that I need to force in there. So it's already in there. But it's set like here. Huh. So maybe this way the spline's already cut the length because you cut it the same length. But it just, and maybe they like updated the kit. Okay, so we have extra spline for fixing or creating other stuff. Extra spline for fixing the other window. The other window needs the screen, screen still, but yes. Yep, but we work. might have to buy a, another frame or frame kit as, or a screen kit as well. I don't think I'll have enough screen for that as well. Right. It's not a kit. Sorry. Right. Right. That's you know what I meant. But you're correct. You're very correct. So this kit came with this. So that's neat. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely this one. There, there was a lot of nails pulled out down here. I've kneeled on a couple so far. Oh, I should probably keep this with the side I'm working on. Even though two are short, two are long, so. Okay, well that's cool, okay. Do you want to do the top one or? Okay. 
Okay, <laughs> take two. It's How far do you want an to inch off the edge. So. so keep going, keep going. That's good. And then make sure it's kind of straight, like down the edge. What do you think? Okay, so then this should work with her. Oh yeah, that's why is it too long? Because it, it pressed in, so it stretched it as we went. Yes. That's fine. Okay, so there's one. Cool. Look at it tensioning the, the inside as I'm going, like, look at it pulling it. That's awesome. I was afraid it was going to be too loose on the inside. It's pretty, pretty good. I can deal with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the last step is to cut it. Want to do it? We got to cut the pole. Yeah, no. No, I couldn't. Okay. Okay. Make sure you cut all the way through. I was trying to be cheeky with it. Cram it in the best I could.
drops the knife through the new screen. Be called a learning experience at that point. Dresses. So, pro tip everyone on YouTube. Have your wife need you to help her with a project and then she'll come down to the basement and help you screen for your screen door because she wants you to get it done faster. That look is divorce. No. I just need to know what's in. Hmm? Oh, what's this? You can ask questions, darling. Um, so, we have sandpaper over here. Um, I would always go with the toughest grit we have because you're trying to strip all that stain and stuff off, right? Yes. So I would start with a 60 and start like, is are the bottoms of them stained too? Like someplace where you wouldn't really see like... Like, there might be stained, but not a lot. Okay, then try this on the bottom and see if it gets a bunch of it up. Why is it what? Because it's it's slightly used. That means it molded? No, that's that's wood stuck in there. So that's everything else. And then, so that should be 60, like on the back of it. You say 60. Uh -huh. And then the higher the number you go, the finer it gets. So I would start with 60, try to get everything off, and then we'll work on making it smooth again. Because you're gonna make it rough sanding it. Can't believe this is all that really holds in a screen. I'll come back to the corner. A little bit of fluff in the corner where it meets, but not like I don't think we'll notice it at all ever. Okay, so. Just barely. We can try it, but not now. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we've screened it. It's a little dirty because doing it in a dirty basement. Uh, but we're going to go see and make sure this fits in the door. And then we've got another screen that's uh, it's pulled out of one of the sides. Like it's cut across the whole bottom almost or pulled out. And we're going to see if that's enough to fix that one. It could be a different size too. 
It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so let's go see if this will fit. All right, so this is the door in question. And this just has to fit in here like this. Oh, is it like just a touch? Oh, nope, there it goes. That worked. Okay, it's like, might be just a, like, a touch tight, but I'd rather have it tight than loose. Figure which way these went in. This. I think like this. Might move a little in there, but I don't think the, the frame is as thick as the glass frame. So, I mean, I can 3D print spacers, but it's not going to go anywhere. So, okay. If we buy new hardware for these, they're kind of tight. I know one of them's stripped. Does that change it? Yeah, that makes more sense. Can you go grab that screwdriver here you're using? That's what I need. I think these are supposed to go the other way though. Oh yeah, this is definitely the way they go. Yeah, locked in place by now. Okay, so the, the tab needs to go down. That makes a lot more sense too. And it's like the threads on this one are messed up. self-tapping screw we should be able to fix the threads with it okay nope other way and last but not least the last one. So that's how you measure. I think this one could have been a little wider. It's a little narrower on here, but. It's the, fine up top, so a little shorter. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe it's, yeah, okay. Or maybe the. The uh, tensioning process suck the middles in because it kind of does look like it does one of these. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. So maybe the tensioning brought the middle in. Interesting. I mean, it works. So that's how you make a screen. If you need help doing one, don't call me because I, I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, we got one. I'm happy with it. You happy? Yep. Okay, now we got a breeze coming through. That's been Heather. I've been Zan. This has been doing a screen door, or well, replacing a screen, making a screen, making the frame, making the screen when you don't have one. Okay, questions, comments, concerns, leave it below. We'll get back to you. Peace.